Ladies and gents of the YouTubes, welcome back. Oh, it is another beautiful day out here. And today we're going hunting some motorcycles. And you guys love these kind of videos. So, got a, uh, a lead on a dude who has a ton of old Hondas. And I'm talking like 30 to 40 of them. Uh, so we are gonna head over there. I'm gonna meet up with Damon and have him bring his truck because more trucks, the more bikes we can buy. And I got a pocket full of money. So you know what that means. We're really gonna go try to buy some bikes. I told Damon I wanted to buy six bikes today. Uh, so we'll see if we can make that happen. Stay tuned and uh, let's go for a drive. Okay, so we are going over the mountain and through the woods big time. All right, guys, the size of this horde is un imaginable but we were able to buy a couple bikes that being one of them that being another one one's in the truck and uh yeah exciting exciting stuff i didn't buy any of this stuff yet but maybe in the future we'll come back and and get some more i don't know this stuff's pretty crusty this though this stuff is where the good stuff is so you know this stuff is old when it has that Honda logo. And check that out, Hap Jones, baby. They've been out of business for a long time. Long, long time. All right, guys, you know it's a su success when Damon and I are both winded and uh, he's <laughs> called me a swear word youngster at least once. So you know we got some good stuff, but it was a lot of work. <laughs> so this, Damon found this one, full credit goes to Damon. This is a little Suzuki 500 two smoker. The engine's free, so I had to buy it. But man, the CBR, little four cylinder, this thing supposedly on the tack, red lines at 18 grand. That's the start, and then it goes to 20. I can't even imagine what it sounds like. Sounds good. <laughs> I bet it does. But the little NS over here, this, I had no idea, it's actually a uh, 50cc. Um, so that's pretty neat. And then the old vintage dirt bike with a uh, crazy front end on it. So it's got a pretty wild frame too. Um, this is kind of out of my wheelhouse, but it's cool, so I bought it. All right, guys, we got them home and we got them unloaded so you can really see them. So this one, which we are really excited about, is a CBR 250, but this isn't a regular one. One, two, three, four, four cylinder. And this one, we'll have to see what year it was made. I uh, can't remember. But it does look like it's all there mechanically. Missing the bottom fairings. Um... We might be able to find those. Who knows what we're gonna do with the bike, but the engine stuff is all there. And one of the really cool things, look at that. The red line starts at 18,000. Holy cow. This thing has gotta sound badass. And gray market. Um, I don't believe these were ever sold in the United States. And that takes us to the other little gray market bike. An NS50, another bike that I've never had, nor have I ever seen out in the wild, just like that one. And what they say is, if you find a motorcycle that you've never seen, you buy the motorcycle. So that's what we did. This one, 50cc, really cool little bike. It only has 1,500 miles on it. So this is gonna be a really fun project. And that takes us over to the old, the old motocrosser here. What, uh, what kind of bike is this, Damon? A Villiers. A Villiers. The old Villiers. It's kind of like billiards, only Villiers. And uh, this is a really neat bike. It has a Greaves style front end on it. I can't remember what that's called. This bike I bought with my heart, not with my head. It's just too darn cool looking, and I couldn't leave it. So we bought it. I don't really know what it's worth. I don't know what we're gonna do with it. It has an aluminum tank, I think, which is awesome. Same with the fenders. Um, 
you know, I'm sure it'd be a really good restoration candidate, but honestly, it has so much character. I'd kind of like to just leave it the way it is. And last but not least, we have the 1970 or 71 Suzuki Titan 500 two smoker. And this is the one that Damon found. I get no credit for this one. And of course, really good compression, really good compression. So this thing wants to run. Too bad the rest of it is really crusty. Look at all that. That is a lot of crust and a little bit of rust. But not too bad, not too bad. What do you think, Damon? I think we did good. I think it was a pretty good haul. Yes. Especially this little ripper right here. So after doing a bit of homework, this bike is actually a USA model. One year, 1990, and they only made 200 of them. This one is number 50 out of that 200. Just thought you guys would like to know. Oh boy, and on this thing, I got so motorcycle drunk that totally lost my head. This is a 1961 Greaves. Um, Greaves are really cool bikes, and uh, I don't know a ton about this one yet, but we will do some more research, and on the next video, we'll go over some other details, especially like that, the exhaust. I think that's aftermarket. All right, guys. That's going to be a wrap for this video. Um, I know you guys just love the videos where we go buy stuff. So don't forget to thumbs up the video. If you're new, please subscribe. If you know more information than I do about these bikes, put it in the comments below. Um, if, you know, you want to buy one of these things, send me a message. But, you know, everything's for sale for a price, I suppose. Um, we had a lot of fun, and that's what really matters. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll, uh, we'll see you on the next one.